Durecki, and as always, I'm joined by a very cool group of science students and enthusiasts. These are two of my incredibly smart friends, Cameron Robertson, Jason Latimer. Together they have over 11 years of research and study in the fields of science, and they've agreed to use all of that knowledge to benefit in part by pranking people. We use our powers for good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're just getting started right away. I love it. Yeah, don't mind us at all. Carry on. <laughs> Wait, are those my sweats? Yeah, yeah, they are actually. <laughs> okay, cool, because that's uh, iodine. I know. <laughs> Apparently today's first prank is on me. I thought we discussed using someone else's pants. I'm actually wearing the only pants I own. <laughs> Don't worry, simple chemistry can fix these right up. It's the same science that we use in this prank. Check it out. Cool. We set up our hidden cameras at an executive suite. Tamara plays the executive, and Jason plays the beleaguered office manager. Unsuspecting new hires, Andrew and Crystal, have been enlisted to help clean the tank, where the executive's pet eel happens to live. We call this experiment Eel Be Sorry. Hey, you're totally skipping an entire step of the process. I've got other things to do with my day. This coffee tastes like <laughs> This is not going to work out. No. Don't take calls from them again. She's passionate. Step into my office. It's Friday, so it's pretty gonna be pretty laid back. We have to do some of the grunt work today. We have to clean up the tank a little bit. You have you like fish? Oh, uh, depends what kind. <laughs> That's the hardest thing whatsoever with Mr. Cuddles. She's got some crazy looking eel in there. Nice sea creatures what? are quite a trip. And uh, yeah, I don't even know if it's a he or she. Uh, but who knows if they even have a sex? You know, <laughs> <laughs> they must, but. The, the sea is mysterious. Yeah. Do you want to get started? Sure. Super easy. So you're going to put your hand in there, right? Mommy? <laughs> we just have to make sure we add the cleaning pollution to get rid of the, the tinge of the yellow. Just go ahead and grab that jar for a second. There's my phone. Yeah, go ahead and pour that in if you get a chance. Uh, Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. Dump all this in? Yeah, Friday. Okay. It's Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! No, I don't see that being a problem. Thursday would have been better, but Friday would have been. I gotta go. Whoa, 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 wait. Which uh, one did you grab? The one that says Friday? No, 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 no. The one that says eel is the one that you should grab. That's your coffee. Why'd you do that? Because you told me to. No, 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 no. I was on the phone. I was talking about a meeting next Friday. I never said put in the Friday container. Is that bad? What even is that? <sighs> that was Hammer's coffee. Who knows what that much caffeine could do to an eel. I'm sorry, I'm killing an eel. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is it dead? Mm, not yet. Well, we're off to a horrible start. <laughs> Should we look it up online and see? She's always told me, in case of emergency, call a number. Yeah, I've never had to call it. Okay. Uh, there. Uh, let's call the number on the tank. What's the number? Uh, 1-800-ICH. My name's Steven. May I have your name? Crystal? I can, I can barely see it, though. Hi, Kendall. And what can I help Crystal. you? Crystal. I'm sorry, what'd you say? It's Crystal. Crystal? Crystal. Crystal. Okay, Crystal. How can I help you today? So, what did I pour in there? I poured something in the fish tank. Oh, dear. Any solution to that? Like a teaspoon, a tablespoon? No, a no, no. More like 50 tablespoons. 50, oh, my lord. And can you describe the state of the water right now? It looks like blood in the water. This is a disaster. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get them fish out of that tank. Well, the thing is, it's not a fish, it's a huge eel. <laughs> Do you know what kind of eel is in the tank? I don't even know. It looks like a big cucumber. Okay, y'all need to get that eel out of that tank immediately. He says we need to get the eel out of the tank. What do we do? I think you want to handle a an eel, but... Don't touch it! No. Should we use this? 
Uh, to do what? <laughs> to do what? We can poke it, it and see if he's alive. Don't poke the eel. Please don't. Should we take out the rock, maybe? Is there some chemicals that we sent over with something labeled eel? Yeah. What I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and open that up and pour all the contents in. All right. It will reset the, the pH of the tank immediately. Okay, I'm pouring it in now. Doesn't look too good. That's not clear. Oh, oh, no, no, wait. It looks like the same color. It's really dark. Any other things we should dump in there? No. Don't dump anything else in there. What's he saying to do? Please hold. Andrew, I'm going to put you on hold for one second. Okay. I'll be right back. You can't actually plug it in either. Hold on one second. What is going on? We're on the phone with the ill people? You're on the phone with the eel people. That's great. What's going on with my tank? Uh, she dumped the whole thing of coffee in your fish tank. So he told she put, me she put to the, pour the tank put, in that says the, Friday. Oh no 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 no! no. I said grab it. I grabbed the eel the container and put it in there. You grab. She grabbed the. She grabbed the coffee. You put my coffee in with cuddles. <laughs> fix it. I cannot even deal with this right now. I have a meeting in five minutes. You need to fix it now. It's gonna be your job. <laughs> I'm back there, Kendall. I have spoken to my supervisor, and what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to reboot the tank. Now, do you see a power strip somewhere on the front or the side? Yes, I do. I'm standing right in front of it. Is there an orange light lit up on that power strip? Correct. Turn it to the off position. Push it off. Press the orange light, okay? And yeah. count with me. One, One two, two, three, three seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, I need you to turn that light back on. Now, what has happened to the tank? The bubbles are going crazy. It's clearing out. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's clearing up. Andrew, I don't use this word very often, but today you are a hero. I am? He says I'm a hero. Okay, thank you, sir. You're a hero. Well, was there anything else I could do for y'all today? The eel is fine, right? The eel's gonna be alive? That's not my problem, Kendall. Come back. That's not your so we're putting the net in to uh, begin pulling the eel out. Just trying to keep calm here. You're doing the right thing, to keep calm. We think the eel's dead. Isn't he moving though? Isn't it moving? I, he's barely moving. Um, he's not moving. I can see that. So where do you buy an eel from? Should we call her? That no, probably she's, would just make she's so worse. mad right now. <laughs> I think you're calling me Kendall. I'm not Kendall, I'm a crystal. She seemed a little busy to be worried about it, though. <laughs> she's had this thing, like, way longer than I've been here. We should buy her a new eel. It's not gonna be your job. I, I don't think the eel's alive. So what do we tell her? You're telling her. Tell her that I killed it? Maybe he was, like, about to die to begin with. You fixed the tank. So you guys took care of it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's looking all right. Go get me coffee. How did you guys fix that so fast? Rebooting it. Rebooting a fish tank. It's a long story. I'm not sure if you want to hear all of it. Just, I guess, sit down. All so, right. So this is your first day with us? Yes. Okay. It is. How do you think it's going? Well, the guy on the phone called me a hero, so. It's impressive. That's Easy. a start, right? Yeah. Okay. But the events before that were a bit harrowing. Do you think uh, Cuddles would call you a hero? <laughs> that would depend if he's alive or not. <laughs> is there a chance that Cuddles is not alive? According to him, yes. But that wasn't, that wasn't my conjecture is there like is there some form of science behind the rebooting i don't i mean because now there's there's <laughs> so, all these bubbles like so what that's was the a good science question that? although the bubbles were there before we rebooted it what would you say if i told you what would you say if i told you you're on a science prank show right now <laughs> <laughs> And you actually just used science to clear that tank. 
without even knowing it. That was actually an iodine and vitamin C reaction. You're mean! <laughs> I felt bad for you. Damn, the tank was turning red and then they got me to do it again. Yeah. And I'm sitting here feeling like an idiot, but at the end of the day, it worked. Is it fake? <laughs> no eels yeah, were harmed in, in the making of this. It's a fake eel. It's a fake eel. You are a science hero. <laughs> 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 that guy was fantastic. Wasn't he? He's never sensed an ounce of anxiety in his entire life, that guy. Very relaxed. And what's that guy's secret? <laughs> so, Tamara, if rebooting the tank is not a real thing, how did the water clear up so quickly? Oh, that was some pretty cool science. Yeah, and just with a little bit of misdirection, I added some vitamin C to the tank. You want to see what it looks like? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, I need a volunteer. You're right in front of me. <laughs> What's your name? Riley. Riley, what do you study? Uh, chemistry material science. Ooh, yeah. round of applause for that one. That's <laughs> this, a little bit of chemistry going on here. I've got two clear liquids. I want you to take one, dump it into this beaker, and then take this one, dump it back into this beaker, and then pour it back and forth slowly. Okay. There you go. Dump it. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty amazing, man. What just <laughs> happened? So that's a predictable chemical reaction. It's the oxidation of potassium iodide by hydrogen peroxide. Now, we're gonna add some vitamin C. Which I'm also gonna do with your fancy red pants here. So, I'm gonna pour this in here, and just as fast as we went from dark, we're gonna see if we can go back to clear. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Now, if you'd mix that back and forth. This is what was going on in the tank. And we were using the bubbles of the tank to help stir it up. So the vitamin C changed the molecular structure of the iodine and how it absorbed light, and voila, also restored your pants to their former glory. <laughs> Can you add an inch to the waist for me? I'll add two, just to be safe. <laughs>